Let's get to it. Ah, this is what we were waiting for. You're going to see how all of this connects. It's like Connect 4 in this dirty game. And show you how foul people is, man. It's just crazy in this game, man. It's just just like it is in the streets, you know. Now they say these girls are for the streets. They ain't lying. It don't change in Hollywood. It do not change anywhere. It's just like it is in the street. But it's just like, man, it's crazy out here. Now, Marshall Falk and Derek Fisher. Let's get to this beat. Now, first off, I want everybody out there to make sure they subscribe to at Chromic Brown Bucks Life, at Carcino for Life, at um, Welcome to HDTV, at Seahawks, Jose Rodriguez Channel, One Crack News, everything. Hit the like button, subscribe to this page, and hit the notification bell so that you can get all your notifications. Because I've been fighting with them for about two, three days because... These girls out here are trying to spam me because they don't like my videos or I'm just drowning them. So they, they doing what they can to survive by trying to sabotage me. So we've been fighting that for about a week. And then they got the nerve. So you look at their views. The people don't want to hear from them. No, bro. Y'all trying to sabotage people's pages. Like women do and this is grown men now let's move on and get to the story marshall fall in high school was a football phenomenon nah, like this incredible right and in his school his girlfriend and childhood sweetheart candace Patton. they date they fall in love, puppy love. Um, she gets pregnant, you know, uh, while he's at uh, college. I think he was at San Diego State, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be wrong. Don't, you know, it's the top of my head. Now, she gets pregnant, and they have a son. And... As he's getting ready, you know, going through college and moving on and getting ready to go pro, them being a couple don't really, you know, when you hit your 20s and all the stuff you were doing at 17, the girl you were dating, you know, y'all just go y'all separate ways. It's just like, okay, we weren't in love. It was just what it is, but we have a son and we got to take care of our child, so... They have an understanding. So he gets drafted. He's in the NFL. And he's uh, doing well. He's in Indianapolis. You know, he's making still plans to see his child and everything else. And then <clears throat> out of the blue, there's a gentleman who is dating his wife. And he knew nothing about it. <clears throat> a man by the name, well, not his wife, but his baby mother. A man by the name of Derek Fisher. And it just came out of nowhere. They were engaged. And he was, oh, wow. Um, okay, congratulations. But, you know, my son's over there. <laughs> you know, and so... You know, everything was cool. Uh, him and Marshall met, spoke. You know, it was like, hey, you know, uh, he seemed like a very good man. And he's great with kids. You know, uh, Derek Fisher's really great with his son. His son loves him, calls him dad and stuff. And Derek's a good father, you know, and all these things. And they get married. And Derek and Candace is together, and everybody loves Candace, and um, they're friends with everybody from Matt Barnes and his wife, 
at the time before the, you know, they got married, the Gavons, Gil and his girl, his wife rather. Or a girlfriend. I don't know if they ever got married. They could have. Don't forgive me. Top of my head. Now, I just remember the situation. Now, as this is going on, Candace and Derek are all hanging out. You know, they, with the Marshall Falk, ends up meeting this beautiful blonde haired girl who has, you know, inspiring to be a singer and all these different things. And he settles down and gets married to this woman. He's in love. She's pregnant with his child. They get married. They end up having three girls. Her name's Lindsay. So now Lindsay Falk is around. And, you know, uh, when Marshall would go get his son and everything else, or they have a, something that's going on, you know, Candace and Derek were allowed to come over, you know. It was like, okay, you know, it's respectable. You know, they son. So it's not weird for their son. To be around, you know, his sisters and everything else. It's like, okay, well, yeah, he can be around his sisters and see everybody. And, you know, this is my family. So, all of a sudden, you know, things change. Lindsay's getting a lot more attitude lately with Marshall. She's getting a little bit antsy over there. She wants more exposure. She wants to be out there. She's like, okay, I've done my part being the mom. Now it's my turn. And I need to be seen more. I want to go out and do things. And I just don't want to be in the background anymore. I want to be out there doing things for myself. And I need your support doing that. And I feel like I'm not supported. And she's just picking fights. Just out of the blue, and Marshall's like, look, <laughs> like, what, where is all this coming from? Now, allegedly, Derek Fisher, for a long time, was given the soul bowl to Marshall Fox's new wife, <laughs> Lindsay. Not only did he date his baby mama and marry her, He's now allegedly banging <laughs> the current wife. I'm telling you, boy, damn Fisher, baby. <laughs> that man's special, ain't he? So, they were doing this off and on. And... All of a sudden, two marriages were lost over basically all of this nonsense that was going on. Because Marshall Falk saw what was happening and was like, oh man, allegedly he hired a private investigator to spy on his wife, find out what's going on, get past email codes and phone records and all this stuff. And found out that this has been going on for a while. From he thinking like they're just flirting with each other, and, and it's possibly it could happen. So Marshall's heated. Of course, he wants to fight Derek, but he's got too much at stake right now to do that. He has a couple of deals in place that he can't put his hands on Derek Fisher. But there's now a major problem between the two. So, of course, Derek is keeping his distance. And, you know, his son is there. And everything else. And it started a whole lot of conflict. 
because Derek had separated from Candace at the time. So it was it was a bit of a mess. Right? Now, through the whole time he was with Candace, he was still creeping with Lindsay, allegedly. All of this was happening. So, all of a sudden, there is the one person who's over there um, seeing the situation unfold. And when he was single, Lindsay was single because, you know, Marshall and her separated. She was able to go out and date Derek Fisher. So Derek would come out and bring her out. And they see Lindsay with Derek. Right? No problem. And Laura Gavon is with Gil. Gilbert Arenas. They see each other. They're hanging out. Derek Fisher, Gilbert Arenas, allegedly, right? Now, her friends in her circle, Lindsay, Gabriel Union, Roxy, and she was cool with Gloria Gavon. Matt Barnes' wife at the time. These like her friends. So, all of a sudden, you see a whole different change in what's happening with Derek and Lindsay. They're going out, but Derek is staying low key. He don't want this kind of attention because people know it's with him and his wife. So he's basically keeping her down. Allegedly, while they were out, Gilbert is like a kid. You know, he's the fun-loving Gil. His personality is through the roof. He's always turned up and showing off, trying to impress everybody that's around. Lindsay allegedly became attracted to that. Like, oh, he's so much fun, and then look at him, he's dancing. and So she became attracted to that. And Gil started working his magic and started basically sabotaging Derek. Allegedly. So Derek, without rhyme or reason, didn't know what happened. Gil snakes Derek and takes Lindsay. And he's married. Still married with his wife, everything, and he's creeping with Lindsay throughout the town, going out, doing stuff in places. And Derek saw it. Derek Fisher never said a word. He never said one word to Gilbert about it. He never said one word to Lindsay about it. He just like, okay, that's what it is. And kept it moving. Now, Gilbert's having a blast. Wife is accusing him of like, where you been tonight? What you been doing? Oh, I ain't been doing nothing. All oh, these are rumors. And I ain't doing that. All oh, people talking about I've been cheating all over town. I was in there shooting basketball and playing video games. I ain't did nothing. All of this stuff started coming around until Lindsay says, I'm pregnant, Gilbert. <laughs> and Gilbert's nervous. And it's not until the child is born and it is confirmed that Gilbert is the father. After People not saying anything and people were speculating. Look at this. See what I'm saying? People trying to spam me right now. They don't stop. 
So, with all of this said and done, Gilbert, Gilbert Arenas is nervous because the wife doesn't know. Then she finds out and he has to admit, yeah, I got a, I got a daughter. Uh, and that's what ended his marriage. She's like, that's it. I'm done. I told you, Gilbert, if you ever have another child on me, we're done. So that ended the relationship, marriage, whatever it was, out the door. So that was it. It was over. Now, the problems that ensued is that Gilbert has about three, I think he got like three girls himself with Gloria. He's got three girls with Gloria. I mean with Laura, excuse me, sorry about that. He had three daughters with her. And he just got another girl with Lindsay. Now, they're dating. They're a couple now. They're going out on dates. Everything was fine. And it just realized Gilbert's immaturity. Wasn't going to work. He wasn't serious. When she's like, okay, now we got to be a couple. So that's not what Gil wanted. <laughs> Gil wanted to have fun with you. He didn't want to be playing like, you're going to be my wife. And I'm going to be back at home and doing all this. So Gil was a little messed up by all this. Now... The main problem started to kick in because Gilbert didn't understand the plight of what was actually transpiring around him. You know, it's a bad look. So she's feeling the disdain from that. And next thing you know, D Fish end up coming back into the pitch and start hitting it while she was still with Gil, allegedly. So D Fish comes right back and takes the bra. <laughs> she went back to D Fish to get some more fish. <laughs> While she still was with Gil. D Fish still never hated on Gil. Right? So. All of a sudden, Gil is alone. He didn't lost everything. He lost his. Then he's trying to get his wife back or his fiance or whatever. He's trying to get her back because he didn't lost everything and she don't want him back. And then they go through this big legal hell she put Gil through. And Gil is upset he's had to go through any of it, but he was the one that cheated. So, that is a hell of a damn circle to go through. So he cries to Matt about all of this, who's teammates with Derek. You know, uh, Derek was his teammate and, you know, mad and all this and he's talking about all this stuff he's going through with Gloria and he's with the sister and he's like man you know that's messed up you know and Derek's my friend and this and that and you know I stay out of it and blah 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 so next thing you know we all know what happened with Derek and, and Matt he calls Gilbert Arenas when it was going down like Derek's at my <laughs> at my house and he's all over <laughs> He's all over uh, glory. And like, like they a couple. Man, freaking out. And he called Gilbert because Gilbert is familiar with this. That's why Gilbert said, I was on the phone with Matt while he was on his way over there. Like, 
He did the same thing to me, man. <laughs> Get that mug. <laughs> Get him for me. <laughs> no good. Damn, took my baby mama. I get caught with the baby and got to pay money. Derek get to get to come in for free. <laughs> oh, man. So now she got all these checks, man. These women are... <laughs> These women know how to get y'all, man. It's crazy. And I don't even know. I guess because she was just around. She really is probably one of the most basic looking chicks I didn't see. But, you know, hey, to each his own. But I'm like, how y'all throwing yourself away for this? <laughs> you could find this anywhere in California. I saw how Blake got hit. He tried to go out and split out and get with a Kardashian. Like, yeah, I'm Hollywood Blake now. <laughs> Where no? She didn't want to sign no prenup, so he's like, you don't sign this, it's over. She thought like, oh, you think you finna get away? <laughs> Palimony. He was, what's that? <laughs> that means she's finna get your money. She, she knew how to, you was messing with the wrong one. <laughs> she was like, I went to USC. <laughs> uh-uh, you ain't getting no airhead. I'm like, damn, Blake. That messed his whole basketball career up. He, he couldn't play at all. He couldn't shoot the ball worth the damn. I'm like, man, he done. They might well sit him down for the rest of the season. He got problems. <laughs> yeah man it was crazy times man crazy times so don't forget to hit the like button too and subscribe to the page and when we get more you know the patreons y'all get to see it first um i don't know when youtube is gonna get it mainstream so if you're watching this on mainstream youtube now we've had it up for a minute so on that note Thank you. My cash app is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. If you want to donate and support the page, we gratefully appreciate everything that you guys do for us. Um, thanks for the super chats. God bless y'all. I'm out.